The United States is the richest country in the world, yet right here in southeastern Pennsylvania, there are plenty of kids who can't even get their basic health care uh, needs met. I'm at the William Meredith School in South Philadelphia, and I am here to work with a group of kids and talk to them about how to take care of their eyes and why it's important that they notice if they're having trouble seeing. I'm gonna offer them a pair of glasses just like this. And so the point is we wanna to try to show kids and, and their parents that some kids are really having a hard time seeing. And there's information actually on these paper glasses about where they can go to get good eye care. For about a decade, I worked with a lot of kids in a community health center and kids came in malnourished, with lead poisoning, with untreated asthma, and we'd see a kid and resolve that child's health condition that day, but then the next day, a new kid would come in with the same issue. And I wanted to ensure that all kids get access to the health care services they need. And I do that by pushing for policies that address their unmet needs. The organization that I'm supporting is Public Citizens for Children and Youth. It's an organization I've worked at for the last 13 years and PCCY has spent the last 30 years improving the lives and life chances of kids across southeastern Pennsylvania. So we had kids coming in who needed replacement eyeglasses and the Children's Health Insurance Program doesn't cover replacement eyeglasses and that didn't make any sense to me because especially for the littlest kid, they're apt to misplace their glasses, to break their glasses and glasses are expensive. So I made a case to the State Children's Health Insurance Department that they should cover replacement eyeglasses. And I am pleased to stand here and tell you that they made the change. And now every kid on chip gets one pair of replacement eyeglasses. Childhood is short and every day matters. And I feel this urgency. Kids don't have a say in what happens to them. They can't vote. But I am a voice for kids. And PCCY has helped produce a lot of good change for kids.